six, sophomore center from the Christian High School. Decent crowd behind us, and more will keep filling in as we go along. That nice drive, beautiful to the hoop right there. That's Molly Dixon to get on the board there. She averages 11 and a half points per game. And Bellevue gets it started, two to nothing. Remember, quarters for the women, halves for the men. 30 sh second shot clock here. Good board right there, Nate. Yeah, Bellevue looking to set the pace early. Came out slow against Peninsula at home last Sunday here and definitely trying to reverse that trend here, coming out quickly like they did against Shoreline. Well poked away. Off the glass it goes. That's tipped with a basket other than a three-pointer, Nate. Everything she had before that was five three-pointers, now has 17 points in the game. Where would they be without her in this one? Yeah, frustration there uh, for the Bulldogs. Had a chance to push the lead to double digits here and a chance to pull away. Instead, you, you turn it over and, and give up a score on the other end. Oh, what a move. What a move. Brenda Cotto completely turns around and puts it in back to a nine-point lead. Coach Doublefield begging his players to play deep. Yep, if they're going to have a chance to do any damage in the NWAC tournament and even get there. Well, the Bellevue Bulldogs are being introduced on the court now and on your screen, and we're happy to bring you the action. This is our second of two doubleheaders this year. Hopefully we can do three or four next year. We are fortunate to get over here and do these games, and the women won the earlier game 80-70 to against Watcom. Also have the selection of player of the game, and Bellevue wins will have the head coach on Jeremy Eggers. That's Dante Lewis sinking the three ball. Also today, with the regionals wrapping up yesterday in high school basketball, I just want to point this out to people. They're having the draw as we speak right now for the state basketball tournaments, and that is Jaden Volman. Out of Puyallup High points. School. Out of Puyallup High School, and they know a thing or two about getting to the postseason. That's the Vikings of Puyallup. A timeout called by Jeremy Eggers and the Bellevue Bulldogs. Extends back to 10 points. And back to 10. Critical point in this half here. So, Watkin made their run, cut it down to about five, and then Bellevue came back with theirs and pushed it back to double digits. I mentioned earlier that Bellevue lost at Watcom on January 28th, 69 to 65. They lost at Shorewood, Shoreline, on Wednesday, 77 to 65. And that was after losing to Peninsula last Sunday. So they definitely want to get a victory today. And actually, Julian, uh, now that I remember, he got hurt in the last minute of that game at Watcom. So it was the... The Watcom game that was the game that he uh, last played in. Teaching? Uh, by, yeah, by way of, uh, he went to Shane High, taught in Shane High for two years, then uh, Ghana in Africa, then Egypt. One point game. The shot clock will be dead on the final possession, which is right now. He's got to work on those foul shots a little bit, though. So you, you're either going to have a stop here in the lead, or you're going to be down at halftime if you're Bellevue. We're looking at the tattoo Tanner Clark has, and it almost looks like the NWAC logo, but I'm just not thinking he's got that on there. It's pretty close. Here they go. Blocking foul. Bellevue also over the limit. McKee is called for his first eighth team foul. Head of steam there. It's Babian. Look at that move. Oh, David Babian taking it in. And Bellevue inbounded it pretty shallow. I was a little bit, I, I thought they might try for like, you know, the Christian Leitner screen and the heroic. <laughs> yeah, it was um, pretty anticlimactic. What a night, as it turns out, this afternoon stretching in. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Always our pleasure. And my pleasure, and uh, great to have everybody with us. Thanks to Rick Audi and also to uh, Dave and the whole crew as we thank you all for being here with us uh, again this season. And we'll talk to you next year here on Comcast 28. Good afternoon, and enjoy the Academy Awards.